Hi, uh, we're at the Chimera booth. I walked by and I saw this beautiful woman here. This, isn't this a gorgeous shot here? And I was struck by how well it's lit and that the great background here. And I started asking some questions and I met Bill here who uh, told me a lot about this. He's uh, one of the developers of the uh, the Gobo system back here, also known as a cookie, right, or Kukaloris? Yeah, they're called window patterns. Window patterns, yeah. And he had something really interesting going on back here. We're going to go to the uh, Airy booth in a minute, but tell, can you tell us a little bit about this light? Well, there's a couple things going on. Well, first, what we have is, is a, a controlled situation. When you're in a trade show place like this, you've got light going everywhere. So I asked for a six foot by six foot overhead over this young lady to get rid of all the overhead light. So basically now I'm kind of darkened it down into almost a studio environment. Then on the back of this big softbox, on the back of the softbox, we've got a very harsh LED light inside this and I'll peel it open so you can see a bit. But it's, uh, it's a nasty light. And a lot of people think that LEDs are the answer, but they, they're they bright, but they're not necessarily pretty on the face. And so by double diffusing this and using this softbox, I'm creating a much larger, softer source, which is much kinder on the talent. And then in the back, we've got the window patterns, and I have an Airy L7 This is what I wonder. Daylight, tungsten, or color, and we're punching that through the patterns to generate the color pattern you're seeing behind the young lady there on the white fabric. So. And the other key to this is that when you do have a soft box like this, it's really easy to wash that color away. And if she comes back and see, you can see what I'm going to do here. By pointing this at her, which is kind of how we're taught, yeah. all of the color gets washed away from the background. Yeah. So yeah. this is such a broad you source. You don't want that falling on the background. This is such a broad source that I can actually pull it away from her and put her on the fringe of the beam. It still gives me the color, the quality I want in her, but it drops my background spill light down, and that's what gives us the drama that we see. That's great. A really good little lighting lesson there on why you want to take light away, like he's doing with the top, shielding it from the overhead light, and not throwing direct light on her just enough so he's not throwing it on the background. And really, this is not a very big space here. You've got, you've got a few feet to work in, but you've done a marvelous job of making her beautiful. Thanks. She's got a great face. It makes it easy, too. Yeah.